Morning everybody. It is now 6 a.m. on this beautiful first day of medical school. I didn't sleep too well because I was just so excited for today to start, which will begin at 9.30 a.m. with a welcome from the deans. But first, let's go work out and have breakfast and get our morning started right. So we were having our first orientation meeting with the deans, but fortunately, I think they have another meeting in progress, so we all got kicked out. Welcome to online medical school. So I spent the last hour with these amazing six people. Uh, as you can see, they're doing a heart because we've really gotten to know each other. And I feel really connected to this group already. Uh, they're gonna be my group for the first tutorial of the next 12 weeks, and I'm sure they wanna stop doing the heart now, so. So we just finished our final event of the night, which was speed meeting. We got to meet some of our classmates in groups of four. And we talked for three minutes before we got placed in a new group with different classmates. And we just got exposure to a lot of our peers that way. It was really cool because everyone came from such different backgrounds and everyone had a really cool story to tell about how they got into medicine. Now, it is 9 p.m. now and I'm really tired, more tired than I've been all summer. So I'm going to catch an early night's sleep, maybe do a little reading. So what's up guys, it is now 7.13 and we just started day two of medical school and I just wanted to run you through the calendar of what we have planned for today. So today is August 11th and we only have a few things on the plan today. Uh, firstly, from nine to 12, we have a large group session where we're all coming together um, and talking about professionalism while you're actually practicing medicine. And then from 1.30 to three, we have an information session where we're going to be talking about the finances of med school and being a doctor and how we should um, how we should be planning or maybe some tips they give us. Then later at night, uh, we're doing some fun things at 7.30. We're having a trivia night where we are going to be in groups and competing against other groups of students. Uh, I think to win some great prizes, so I uh, always like to win some prizes, so I'm ready for that. Uh, yeah, and I think that's all we have planned for today. So we just finished the first hour of our professionalism session where Dr. White talked a little bit about the standards that they're expecting of us as medical students, as well as the standards we need to live up to as future physicians. Um, they also talked a little bit about something that was really relevant to me, um, uh, professionalism on our social media and on our online presence. As a YouTuber who is going to be putting a lot of stuff out about medical school and as a medical student, I understand that uh, professionalism and representing my school really well is something that's going to be really important to me, not just in the next three years as a student, but also for the rest of my life as a practicing physician. So that session gave me a lot of insight into what it means to be a doctor. And also uh, in a few minutes, we're going to be going back into our breakout rooms where we're going to be able to discuss more issues of professionalism in smaller groups. So stay tuned for that and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, so we just finished the final part of our session on professionalism. Uh, in the last part, we talked about how uh, different situations were violating different parts of professionalism. And then they gave us a little bit of homework to reflect on some of these subdomains that they were talking about, such as honesty and responsibility, and just reflect on how we feel that we might have been impacted or how we impact these things as medical students. And then, then continue reflecting on that in three weeks as well as during our entire time in medical school. Uh, after that, I uh, just have a, another information session on finances, and then I'm off for the day. So I'll see you then. So we just finished the final info session talking about finances during med school and what you should expect. And honestly, it was pretty confusing. There's a lot to take in, but they're going to be doing these finance uh, sessions more often. And hopefully we can be able to learn a little bit more and actually wrap our heads around it. But in other words, we got our class letters. It says uh, McMaster University, Michael G. DeGroote School of Medicine. Uh, just a nice thing that our class got this year from McMaster and it's super comfortable, it looks great, and I, I'm really liking it so far. Uh, the last thing for today is the trivia night. Uh, where some of my friends and I from Western 
we signed up and we're going to be competing against our classmates uh, to hopefully win some great prizes. So I'll see you then. So we just finished uh, trivia night. Uh, we finished day two officially now and I'm absolutely exhausted from staring at screens all day. So I'm going to go take a little break and probably catch an early night's sleep again because looking at screens all day is just really tiring me out. So I'll see you tomorrow. So we are now in day three of our first week of medical school. It is now Wednesday at 8.30 and we don't really have that much planned today. There's only one event, which is going to be an orientation event later tonight at 7.30 where we get to chat with some of the upper years and just learn more about their experience. So today is going to be kind of light, but I will show you what my schedule is going to be like and we'll go from there. See you soon. So it's now Wednesday and as you can see, I didn't really have much planned today. I uploaded my YouTube video in the morning and then I get all this time off until I have to tutor at 12. And then again, I get a huge break between then and the orientation event at seven where we're going to be talking with some upper years. So that's it for today. I'll update you after the upper year hangout, but today I think it's going to be pretty light, just an R&R &R day. Just relax and get ready for tomorrow. So we just finished up dinner when there was a knock on the door and I wasn't really planning on doing anything today or featuring much from today, but just got our stethoscope in the mail. So it's super exciting. I'm gonna go try it out on my mom and hopefully soon when we actually get back into class on January. Uh, but I think that's it for now. I'm going to update you a little bit after we finish the upper year meet and greet. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so we just finished the upper year hangout where we got to talk with a lot of the upper years and ask a lot of questions and get some of their insights into what it's like going to Mac for medicine. Now, I'm just going to call my girlfriend. Here she is right here. Uh, before I go to bed, end off a nice quiet day, spend a few hours with her. And then I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. It is now Thursday at 8.45 and it is the second to last day of my orientation week. So let me show you what my schedule is looking like for today. At 10 o'clock, we have an introduction to PBL, which stands for problem-based learning. Essentially, that's learning through a case study with the tutorial groups that you saw earlier. Then at one o'clock, we have uh, communication skills using improv, where uh, Hartley Jaffeen is going to be teaching us about how uh, improv is actually very important in healthcare. But besides that, I don't really have a good idea of what that's going to look like. Then tonight, we don't actually have any orientation events planned. So again, you know, the first week, just kind of easing into it. So I'll probably just be relaxing and getting, uh, making sure I'm well adjusting to the new transition. So we finished the intro to PBL and it was a lot of intro stuff, just giving us an overview of what's to come for the year. Uh, I worked out and then had a quick shower, so excuse the hair. And then now we're jumping right into the improv and communication skills and healthcare session. So to give you a little bit more of an overview of what that looks like, here are some of the objectives of the session. Uh, firstly, to define applied drama and improv and identify its role in medical education. Secondly, to describe the three fundamental rules of improv and their applicability to communication. And finally, to experience the energizing, focusing, collaborative, and self-reflective process of an applied drama and improv session in order to raise critical consciousness and personal awareness. Sounds like we have an interesting and fun session ahead of us, so I'll let you know how it goes. So we just finished up the improv and communication in healthcare and honestly going into it I didn't see all the connection necessarily that was revealed during the session but uh, one of the first exercises we did was role playing a time traveler as well as someone in the past and having to explain what a smartphone is to them. Now that really gave me insight into the importance of communication and context recognizing who you're talking to and how you can adapt your knowledge and what you're saying to better fit their expectations and help them understand. Another exercise we did was uh, giving everyone a word to say and then you make a coherent sentence or story out of that. Uh, and first we just gave uh, random words and we were working together to promote one single story. But then the second variation of the exercise was actually uh, going into it with a story in mind and then everyone was trying to use their one word to try to get their point across. And what we found by that was it's actually very difficult to work together when your goals are not aligned, when you're not on the same page. It's also really easy for some people that might have natural barriers 
Uh, for us, it was like maybe internet connection in the Zoom call, but that can also be like uh, shyness in real life or uh, fear to speak up. Uh, those barriers really inhibit us from getting a sense of what the entire group is thinking and overall how we can satisfy everyone and meet everyone's needs. I think these sessions really gave me a lot of things to reflect on, to think about, and things that will be really relevant to me, not just as a doctor in the future, but also as a person and how I can best uh, help people get their point across and make sure they're understood and heard. What I thought would be a really fun session actually turned out to be really fun and informative. And I think I learned a lot that uh, you don't normally get when, uh, when you're talking about science. Uh, it wasn't nor like a normal lecture, but it was more like a personal skills development that I really very much enjoyed. So I think that's about it for today. I have the rest of the night off, but I'll see you for the last day of school tomorrow and we'll talk again on Friday. Bye. Good morning. So today is Friday and it is the last day of orientation week. We were supposed to have a town hall today to give some feedback on how the week's been going, but unfortunately that's been canceled. So I'll show you the rest of what we do have planned for today. So at one o'clock I have my PBL tutorial. Uh, we're going to be working on setting some objectives for our first case, which has to do with respirology. And then that goes until four o'clock. And then that's the last uh, school thing I have for this week. Then later tonight at seven o'clock, we're doing an escape room, uh, virtually of course, with my tutorial group. So super excited for that. Um, not exactly sure how that's going to look, but I guess we'll see. Just finished up the tutorial for today. Um, not gonna lie, I was feeling a little bit awkward, a little bit shy, but the tutorial uh, members were always really great. The tutors were also very good at facilitating the conversation to make sure it didn't get stuck on that uh, awkward pause very often. And yeah, I've been sitting in front of my computer for three hours. I'm starving. I'm gonna go grab some dinner and then I will see you for the escape room. I just finished my tutorial and when I walked outside my room, my mom had brought in this package for me and if you notice right here at the front it says McMaster that can only mean one thing uh, it's probably my backpack so I'm gonna open it up and let me let me show you what it's like here it is McMaster I'm gonna open it up I'm just gonna, just gonna tear it Oh my god, it is the backpack. Holy cow. So heavy I thought it would be. There it is, 2023. So I'm graduating. Nice. So here it is, backpack. It's nice because all everything I own is black pretty much so the yellow goes pretty well with that in my opinion. I'm liking it, I'm liking it, it looks sleek. Now honestly whenever I was studying at the library and I'd see like people coming with their bags I'm just like oh my god it's like a med student like I want to be that person one day and then now I got the backpack and it, it just feels good. It feels uh, it just feels more real. It feels super exciting. Actually like, I, I, I don't know why, but I'm like so happy wearing this backpack right now. Uh, she was like, she was good, she was good. But yeah, on a side note, cat is already in the box, invading my box. Um, yeah, this is Gibby. Say hi, Gibby. Gibby's tired. So, back to me, the backpack. Loving it. Gonna be a great addition to the repertoire for this year. And yeah, here it is, 2021, 2023. So we just finished our escape room and the six of us actually got it on the first try and we did a great job with that. And now we're gonna be playing covid Opoly until we all go back to the main room and debrief how the escape room went for everybody. Uh, but until then, I will just get back to hang out with the group and then I'll debrief you afterwards. Talk to you soon. 
so we're done. The first week of medical school is over officially, and it's crazy how quickly it flew by. It was just the first week, so I'm sure that it's only going to get better from here. The content's going to get more exciting and more engaging, and I know that I have a great bunch of classmates that I'm going to be sharing this experience with. So, like usual, that's been your daily dose of Mehdi's son, and I'll see you in the next video.